everyone, I'm Alicia Malone, and after scurrying through the mean streets with Eddie Muller and Noir Alley, we are also starting our afternoon with a crime film, one directed by Alfred Hitchcock. From 1959, it's North by Northwest. This idea was born out of a partnership between Hitchcock and writer Ernest Lehman. The two were working on adapting the book The Wreck of Mary Deer, but were struggling with it. Lehman said he went to Hitch and told him he didn't know how to make the story work and that he should get another writer. But Hitch waved that away and said, don't be silly, we'll simply do something else. They didn't immediately tell MGM that they were working on a different project, but started to swap ideas. Hitchcock had always wanted to do a chase sequence across the face of Mount Rushmore, while Lehman wanted to create the Hitchcock movie to end all Hitchcock movies. They both got their wish. The two wrote the script with Cary Grant in mind, despite the fact that Jimmy Stewart had openly said he wanted to star in it. Grant couldn't make heads or tails out of the plot, but signed on and was well paid for his work, negotiating a high salary plus a fee for every day he filmed, beginning seven weeks after he signed his contract. Production didn't even start until well past seven weeks, so that all worked out very well for Cary Grant. Grant plays Roger Thornhill, an advertising executive who gets mistaken for a government agent and becomes the target of some very shady characters, played by James Mason and Martin Landau. And the wonderful Eva Marie Saint also stars as Eve Kendall, a woman who wants to help Roger, or does she? And I have some very exciting news for fans of North by Northwest. This iconic film has recently been beautifully remastered in 4K for the very first time. You can own it for yourself starting November 19. Go to wb.com slash northwesttcm to pre-order your copy now. I'll definitely be getting that one. Okay, from 1959, settle in because here is North by Northwest. North by Northwest is now a true classic, but MGM wasn't too excited by it when they first saw it, primarily because of its length. At 136 minutes, the studio had wanted to cut it down, but director Alfred Hitchcock had a stipulation in his contract that he had final cut, and he successfully argued that every bit of it was essential. I'm sure MGM changed their minds when the film became a hit. North by Northwest broke records at Radio City Music Hall and became one of the highest earners of the year. It was also nominated for three Oscars for editing, art direction, and best screenplay for writer Ernest Lehman. Lehman enjoyed working on this film and collaborated with Hitch two more times, writing the screenplay for Family Plot from 1976 and one other script that didn't end up being filmed. And from Cary Grant to Betty Davis, stay watching TCM to see Davis give an excellent performance in a drama from 1951 where she plays a woman on the verge of divorce. Next on TCM, payment on demand, then the damned don't cry, and later, touch of evil. TCM has a hands-off policy today. <laughs> 